On Saturday, July 28th, over 50 protesters took part in a historic shutdown of Hobet Mine, the largest mountaintop removal coal mining site in West Virginia. The action was organized by the group Radical Action for Mountain People's Survival, or RAMPS. Ten of the protesters locked themselves to a rock truck, boarding the truck to display a banner that read, Coal Leaves, Cancer Stays. The slogan was a reference to the environmental and health consequences of mountaintop removal mining, as well as the increasing amount of coal being exported from Appalachia to foreign countries. Mountaintop removal mining severely impacts biodiversity and toxifies nearby watersheds, and has resulted in environmental disasters over 10 times the size of the Exxon Valdez oil spill. People who live in mountaintop removal mining communities are twice as likely to develop cancer and have a greater risk of birth defects, respiratory illnesses, and other chronic heart, lung, and kidney diseases. Mountain justice advocates also criticize the political influence of the coal industry, which they say poses a threat to workers and unions and has blocked development of other industries that could create more sustainable employment in the region. Dustin Steele, one of the activists who took part in the Hobet Mine shutdown, said, quote, The government has aided and abetted the coal industry in evading environmental and mine safety regulations. We are here today to demand that the government and coal industry end strip mining, repay their debt to Appalachia, and secure a just transition for this region, end quote. Organizers claim that several protesters were threatened with chainsaws during the action and that Dustin Steele was dragged across a sidewalk and punched and kicked by state troopers while in police custody. Steele, who identifies as queer and is a native of Matewan, West Virginia, was arrested during the action along with 19 other protesters. Speaking after the action, Steele said, quote, my desire to struggle and organize for the future of the people and environment in West Virginia has never been stronger. And just like my grandfather fought with all of his allies, I will continue to fight for an end of mountaintop removal for the future generations of this state." End quote. Ten of the so-called Hobet 20 were released as part of a plea deal on Thursday, August 2nd. For updates on the activists' current status and to donate to their legal fund, visit rampscampaign.org. A few days before the action at Hobet Mine, two Occupy Wall Street activists, Kathleen Russell and Amelia H.M., met with mountain activists in the area as part of their Radical Resistance Tour, a road trip project highlighting the work of Occupy sites and other activist movements around the country. Here's footage from their visit to West Virginia. If we don't attack this problem at its root, which is what Occupy is doing, and I'm really you know, thankful for that, that somebody's working on it and doing you know, anti-capitalist uh, work pretty much. You know, if we win here, then there's just going to be some other industry swoop in and take its place. We're all fighting the same enemy, just you know, different faces of the same enemy. You know, we may be focusing on you know, that's the coal industry here in southern West Virginia, but that's just another tentacle of this giant beast.